SAP UFI application structure. Start with doc type HTML, HTML tags, head section, inside head section, the first meta tag to make this page compatible to Internet Explorer, second meta tag for allowing special characters, the script block for the SAP UFI resources with bootstrap id libraries and theme this entire script section is called bootstrap and in the body section with class sap ui body we take a due element with id content this body section is called user interface area and inside the head section the second script block where we determine the ui controls so here we are creating a new button with the text click me and we are placing this button in the due element that is user interface area. So this script block where we have determined the UI controls is called the application section. Doctype HTML tells the browser that this page is written in HTML5 and in the head add the Internet Explorer meta tag. Although Microsoft Internet Explorer is not really used widely on mobile devices and not yet supported by the SAP UFI mobile library, this meta tag makes the page more future proof. Add second meta tag for the special characters. This lets all browsers treat the file as UTF-8 encoded. To load the SAP UEFI JavaScript file that contains the library, add the following script tag in the head. That is the source, the ID, libraries and themes. The SAP UI body class should always be added to the body tag to initialize font and colors for the whole page. Add a due element to body which you later assign to the application section. This is where the app will live, the user interface area. Add the second script tag in the head the application section where you need to determine corresponding UI controls, events and attach to due element. Let's again see the SAP UFA application structure. So we start with doc type HTML, making the page as HTML page, the HTML tags, head section, first meta tag for making this page compatible to Internet Explorer, second meta tag for special characters, the script source for SAP UI5 resources, which is called the bootstrap, and the body section, which is called user interface area, and the second script block inside the head section, where we determine the UI controls, required events, and so on, is called the application section. This is the most important script block or the section where we determine the required UI controls, events, so on and so forth. When working with Notepad, you have to write the complete code that is all three sections, bootstrap, application and UI area. Within the HTML page as explained earlier and save file with .html extension. When working with Eclipse, the HTML page automatically generated with two sections that is bootstrap and UI area. You need to fill only application section. Thank you.